Hello friends, welcome to a new lecture today. In this, we are going to learn about a property of amino acids which is decarboxylation of amino acids. Here, in decarboxylation of amino acid, an amino acid, an amino acid undergoes alpha decarboxylation in the presence of coenzyme TLP okay, and carbon dioxide is removed and it results in the formation of amine. Okay, amino acid in this C. Amino acid, the general structure is um, COOH where this carboxyl group is on the right side and we have amine group on the left side and the alpha carbon atom has a um, functional group, sorry, has an aliphatic or aromatic, you know, um, this uh, R is a chain which is attached to it. Okay, now, uh, in decarboxylation, this carbon dioxide is removed and then it results in formation of an amine where the rest of the structure remains the same but only carbon dioxide is removed. Okay, this results in formation of this structure which is called as amine. The examples of this decarboxylation include histidine is an amino acid on decarboxylation it forms histamine. Tyrosine on decarboxylation it forms tyramine. The amino acid tryptophan on decarboxylation it forms tryptamine. Lysine on decarboxylation forms cadaverin. Glutamic acid on decarboxylation it forms GABA. Serine on decarboxylation it forms ethionamide. Cysteine on decarboxylation it forms beta mercapto ethanolamine. Then among all this, this glutamic acid is the most common biological amine. This is the most common biological amine. Okay. So this is the about the decarboxylation of amino acid. Thank you guys for watching my lecture. Thank you.